Good morning, good morning, good morning. Buenos dias, mi gente, yo, yo. Welcome to Daily Discipline number 791, primarily in a row. My name's Rob Hoback. Happy that you're here. Honored and humbled that you keep coming back like for reals. Hey, it's a hump day. Hump day. It's Wednesday, 12, 16, 20. It's a work day. We got work to do, so let's do it. First things first, still the realist. You know what else I am? I'm a champion. I'm a champ. I am, right? Um, got a new CRM at work where they record, you know, all of your customer interactions, prospecting, all those things. Looking through there the other day, uh, at my time at my employer, um, every year except for two, uh, so two out of six, um, which is what, 30%? So 70% of the time of above target. And one of those years, one of them was going into a global pandemic and the other one was during a global pandemic. I'm a champ. This is a rough time. I'll get through this. Starts with me, right? On to our real talk. Why wait? Start today. It's that time of the year everybody starts planning. You know, a lot of people are still in Christmas mode. But then they'll immediately go, New Year's Eve resolutions, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, I love it too. But it's like, well, why wait? Dates are made man-made, right? Like a calendar is man-made. Um, those things are just things that we've bought into as a society. If something needs to be changed, start today, right? And that's what I remind myself every day. When it comes to my prospecting work, you don't like to, you don't have to like it. You just have to do it and no need to wait. Start today, right? Thank you to uh, Uncle Jay for the uh, little nudge there. All right, let's do our thank yous and we're done for the day. Number one, God's been good to us in the good times and the bad, right? Um, I can't wait to get to the green light and look back at this and, and think about all the things that we learned. Thankful for Salesforce. That's the name of this tool, this CRM that's making me more efficient and I, I challenged myself to get addicted to that. Um, I'm thankful for, I got a couple new guys at work, AFA and uh, the military police MP. And um, I just appreciate both of them. Two completely different styles. One guy is very nurturing. Uh, he's a younger guy and, um, you know, he has a lot of respect for me. So he's just constantly, you know, like trying to glean information with me where the other guy's a little bit older than me. And um, he pushes me, right? And tries to make me mad. He thinks that, yeah, and sometimes it works, but nonetheless, I'm just thankful for them. I'm thankful for the circle of trust, the people that I have here, my tribe, people that I that love me, that only want the best for me. Um, and I'm thankful that I'm part of your tribe too. Thankful for all of the examples, right? Just think of all of the examples in life of how to behave ourselves and how not to behave ourselves. Like we talked about the other day, learning the lesson. We can't say we didn't know. Most of the time, some, we've had a an opportunity to address a situation before the real test comes. Think about that one. Um, thankful for Instagram, right? Uh, just the, I, I love how I'll be thinking about something and then all of a sudden something will pop into my Instagram and I'm like, wow. And I only check it like when I'm posting after this. It's not like I'm regularly on there. Uh, I'm thankful for Jay Will. So uh, you guys know that I'm a victim or a, a creature of habit and that I love to have my morning routine and my morning routine used to be Mike and Mike. Then Mike and Mike went away and then it was Golik and Wingo. Then Golik and Wingo went away and then I replaced it with Keyshawn, J. Will, and, and uh, Zubin. And I love two out of the three. Zubin cracks me up. Um, little brown guy. Uh, you, you can just tell he's a kind and gentle soul uh, and very much a nerd. And then you have two athletes, one uh, basketball player, J. Will, uh, Jason Williams, who went to Duke uh, from New York City, smart guy, well-read, uh, well-spoken, went to Duke and then got drafted by the Chicago Bulls right after uh, Jordan and had a really bad motorcycle accident and just limited his career. And so, um, you know, he, he's, he, it has not been easy for Jay Will, right? But he's a smart guy and just, I love listening to him talk and the perspective that he brings. And he's the perfect offset for the other guy, Keyshawn, who's just a loud mouth. Um, you know what else I'm thankful for today, tomorrow, I'm thankful for it all, right? I think I told you guys that uh, Precious called me the other day and I'm like, man, you know what? I, how how great is my life that I have friends who call me and say, hey, look, I'm going through a tough time. I just want to talk to you because talking to you makes me feel better, right? People calling me, asking me for advice and all these things. And it's just like, how do I not see myself in the same way that these people see me, right? And it's like, okay, so once we, we, we process that, like, all right, well, for me to be happy, then I'm going to have to be thankful for everything in my life, right? And then once you cross that bridge, you're like, oh, okay, these are these are universal truths. Just like two plus two is always far. With that, we are done. Hands up. Peace out. We're better together. I appreciate you stopping by on a hump day. Hump day.
Bye. We'll be back tomorrow on a thank you Thursday. We'll see you then. Deuces. Hashtag real talk. Love you guys.